Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use statistics on the Casio FX100 AU Plus. Now this is very similar to the Casio FX82 AU Plus, um, but the, the buttons are a little bit uh, different as to the options that you can get. It's just a bit more feature laden in this calculator than the other one. So I'm going to show you how you can um, access the statistics modes, how to enter scores into the calculator, um, how to find the mean, the standard deviation and the sample deviation on your calculator. So the first thing is, is how to get into statistics mode and it's pretty straightforward. We press the mode key and I have all of these options come up. Um, now the option that I want of course is option number three which is statistics. So I press three and I get even more options come up and so I want to press number one just for the standard um, mode there. And this table appears that actually shows me a frequency table where I can enter some scores in. Now that table is empty and whenever you access statistics mode um, it will clear that table. So um, to move out of the mode I press the mode button and then comp is the option that I want um, and that goes back to um, computation mode or just the standard calculator mode but I'm going to go back to, stati to statistics so I press mode and then the three button to statistics and option number one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter some scores into the calculator and the scores I'm going to enter are two, three, five, six, seven, and 10 and to do this all I simply need are the number pad and the equals key. So I'm going to enter the score two equals and it shows me that I've entered the score of two as the first value. The score of three equals five equals six equals seven equals and ten and it's important at the end of all of your scores that you press equals so that it enters them all into the calculator. So there's my six scores um, into the calculator. I'm going to uh, press the AC key, which looks like it clears everything, but actually it just gets the calculator ready to input data in, or to, to sorry, to access the data that you put in. And the key that I'm going to use is the one key. You see above the one, the word stat. So I press the shift key one, and I get these options that come up, type, data, sum, ver, distribution, min, max. And I'm going to actually go to the ver key, which is option number four. And in this menu, I can see my options are one, which is n, or how many scores are there. And in this case, it would be six. Two, which is the average. Three, which is the standard deviation of the population. And four, SX, which is the standard deviation of the sample. So I'm going to find the mean and I'm going to press the, the number two key equals and it tells me that the mean is 5.5. The next thing I'm going to do is find the sample standard deviation. So I press shift one, which goes back to this menu, four for variation. And this time I'm going to press key four to get the sample deviation four equals and I get the option or the answer here of 2.88. Next, I'm going to find the population deviation here. So I access the menu again, shift, stat, variation, and the variation I want is the standard deviation, which is number three, and we go equals, and the option or the answer I get is 2.63 rounded. All right. The next ex the example I'm going to show you is how to enter scores when you have a frequency distribution table and you have multiple sets of the same number to enter. So instead of entering seven, four times, eight, five times, nine, three times, and so on, there's a more efficient way that you can enter these scores and I'll show it to you on this calculator. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to exit statistics mode to clear the memory. So I'm going to press mode, I'm going to go back to computation mode one and I'm going to go back to statistics mode um, and it's number three and I'm going to press one to go back to this variation and here's my table again. Now on this calculator I can actually set up a frequency column and to show you how to do that I'm going to press the shift button and then the mode button and this time I'm actually accessing the that little word setup and I press the mode button and I get all of these options 
but I notice up in the top corner there's a little down arrow and that means that there's even more options than this that I can work with. So I press the down button and I see option four has a statistics menu. So I press four and it asks me if I want to set up a frequency column. Do I want the frequency column on or off? And I'm going to turn it on. I press one and here's my table now with the scores or X and a frequency. So I'm going to enter the, source, the score seven and then press equals. And notice that it tells me that I'm, it's thinking that I want the number seven to be entered only once, but I actually want it to be entered four times. So I'm going to press my arrows and navigate to that number one and change it to a four, press the equals key and it changes that to a four. I just navigate back to my X column again and now I'm going to enter the eight equals and again it thinks I want it just once but I'm going to put it in five times. The next thing is the score of nine equals and I want to just navigate and change that to three then ten and that was seven times and then eleven that was nine times and then finally the score of 12 and that was six times. So that's entered those scores for me. Now very importantly I have to press the all clear key because otherwise I can't access the statistics menu to work on those scores. So I all clear and now to access this statistics menu to find the mean population and standard deviations here I press shift one, I want the variations four, I press two for the average, which is 9.88. For the sample deviation, I press shift one, four, and I want the sample deviation, which is four, and I get this answer 1.67, and that's rounded. And then finally, I want the standard deviation, so shift one and then variation and it's this option number three and there we have it 1.64 okay i'm going to move out of statistics mode so i go mode one and i'm back ready to do other calculations thank you very much